Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Cat Lady Fashion, and today we are going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart, the art of the bikini photo. For me, taking bikini photos is an integral part of summer. It's just something I do nearly every day, and I love it. Um, I think I've gotten it down to a point where I can produce photos that I like every time, and that's something that's really important, I think, because it helps you um, have like build your confidence and feel more comfortable and sexy in your own body and I think that's something that's really important and I want everyone to have that experience so to help you to along your bikini photo journey I am going to share all the tips and tricks that I've learned that have helped me get comfortable taking pictures of me in a bikini that look great every time and don't require that much effort the goal of taking bikini photos is for you to feel hot amazing sexy confident in your own body and not for anyone else and not for any other reason, okay? I'm not telling you these tips because I want you to, you know, post photos so that you can get all the boys or girls or whatever. It's for you. As long as you're taking these photos from that point of view, I think you can't go wrong. If you're happy with the results and you feel confident in your body, that's all I want. That Then my job is done. So first of all, keep in mind that this is for no one else but you. That being said, I don't want you to not post these photos. I think you should post these photos. Girl, you look hot, post the photo. I think a lot of times we criticize people who post bikini photos or photos of their body and that they're confident with and we say that they're a slut, they're a hoe, whatever it might be. But you know what, that's just not true. Just because someone loves their body and feels confident posting beautiful art of their body that they created and they're proud of, that's great. I don't think there's no there's any reason that we should be calling them negative things. So I want you to feel confident enough and post that photo because one day you will look back on it when you're having a bad day or it's winter or you're older, you're gonna look back and say, I was hot. So let's get into my tips and tricks. A lot of times when you're on vacation, you show up to the beach at like 10 a.m., you're ready to go. You're like, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling good. Let's take that bikini photo right now. Let's get it out of the way. And then the rest, I'll have the rest of the day to, you know, hang around on the beach and all of that. And while that sounds like a great idea, that is the worst idea. And let me tell you why. It is because time of day for bikini photos is probably the most important factor by far for me, especially when you're out. I mean, especially when you're outside, inside, as long as you have good lighting, you're okay. But when you're outside and you wanna take a bikini photo, the time of day is the most critical. And let me tell you what, when I get to the beach, I do not take out my iPhone to take a photo of myself before four or 5 p.m. Because that is golden hour, right? And that's when we wanna take our photos because that's the best lighting of the day. Why is golden hour the best lighting of the day? That's because the, the sun is nice and low in the sky and you're over here and so it's going to create lots of nice shadows across all the curves and muscles in your body and that's what we want when the sun is right up above you and it's really bright and harsh you're just going to get a bunch of very bright brights and very dark darks and that is not going to make you happy it's going to like make your eyes look really sunken you're not going to look attractive at least i don't look attractive and I'm helping you. So that's what I've learned. I like to take photos where I feel my best at around five, six, seven, eight, um, depending on where you are, like somewhere between those hours to get the best golden light that's gonna warm your skin and create very nice flattering shadows on your body. When you get to that beach at 10 a.m., enjoy the day have fun and then stick around until evening right before you go to dinner right before you're ready to leave that's when you get out your phone and you have your friend or your tripod and you take your photos okay don't stress out when you take a photo at 12 noon and it looks like crap because it will i'm telling you if you take a photo at 12 and you get a good photo i'm i'm upset that you ended up with that result because for the most part i would say 95% of the photos that you take at that time of yourself just standing there are not going to look good, okay? So just do yourself a favor, set yourself up for success and take those photos in the evening at golden hour if possible. A hummingbird just flew in my house and then flew out. Okay, back to the video. Okay, now stay with me because this one is like a little bit more difficult to explain. The next most important thing 
is the direction of the lighting. So when you're at five, five o'clock, and you have that gorgeous, gorgeous lighting, you wanna now set up your situation, your tripod, your person who's taking your photo for optimum success. So to do that, as I said, we want the light to go across your body so that you have nice shadows on all the, the parts of your body to give you definition, okay? So that means we want the lighting to be going across us. So when you set, this is how this is how I think about it easily in the field, if you will. So when you're standing there and you have your tripod, like let's say, let's say this is our, no. Let's say this is our tripod. So when we're standing there and we're looking down at the tripod, we want the light to be going perpendicular to where we are, wait. Never mind, I got it. When you're standing looking at the tripod, you want your shadow and the shadow of the tripod to be going to one side, whether that's the right or the left, okay? So you want your shadow and you want the shadow of the tripod to be parallel. Do we understand that? So when you're looking down at the tripod, you should see the line go, the shadow going out to one side. You want to set yourself up so that your shadow is also going to that side. And what that's going to do is going to automatically give you and the camera the same lighting and it's going to give you shadows across your body that's going to make your little abs pop, you're going to make your features pop, and you're going to just look lit up, okay? So that's the optimum way to set up lighting. If you set up the lighting so that you are facing the light directly, it's just gonna be a wash of, of light and you're not gonna get that nice definition that you want. And if you set it up so that you are, the light is behind you, it's gonna create shadow all over you and you're not gonna have any definition and it's probably gonna be very underexposed with you not having any light and the light behind you is gonna be blown out. So it's just not gonna be a good picture. So again, set yourself up so that the shadow from your tripod and the shadow from you are going in the same direction out to the side. Okay, next we're gonna go over a few technical phone settings. So now that we have the whole scene set, we wanna make sure our phone camera, which is what I'm like gonna assume we're all using, is going to be set up correctly. If you have a nicer camera set up than that, then you're way more ahead than me and you shouldn't be watching this video. But we're setting up the iPhone, so you wanna make sure if you have a tripod that your phone is slightly tilted back. So if you're standing here, you want your phone slightly tilted back from you. That's gonna make you look longer and it's gonna make your feet look farther away and it's gonna make your head. That's, I, I don't know how it works, but that's just gonna make you look longer, okay? And then another, if you're in a pinch and you can't get a good photo and you're just like, I wanna get out of here, I don't wanna be taking a photo anymore, um, a really great setting that I recommend is shooting with a 0.5 lens. So if you have an iPhone, or a newer iPhone, definitely iPhone 12, 11, um, I'm not sure about iPhone 10, but if you have a newer iPhone, you can shoot with a 0.5 lens. So you have three options. Um, you can shoot with a 2X lens, a 1X lens, or a 0.5. That 0.5 is a wide angle lens, so that gives you more scenery in your shot, and it also makes you look taller, and it's just a very dramatic shot. So I recommend trying that 0.5 lens if you are just like in a pinch and you just want to get a good picture quickly um, and you want to focus on the scenery especially, I would say try that 0.5 lens. And you can try that by going to the bottom of your um, phone screen. You'll see a 0.5, a 1x, and a 2x, and you want to click that 0.5 to take your photo. Also, it is a better image quality if you shoot with your back camera that's the camera that's on the opposite side of your screen it's a better image quality but if you um are more comfortable sometimes i'm more comfortable seeing myself um so that i know i'm getting a good photo because sometimes you don't know what you're looking at um and you don't know what it looks like when you're posing for the photo so if you want to get that um posing feature and you want to see what you look like then use the front camera but the back camera really does give you a better image quality and that's really important for posting on instagram and just having in general so i would say if you want a really good image quality use the back camera and now a way to set up your photos that's going to make them look more professional is including a bunch of headspace above you in the in the picture so instead of having you you know centered in the photo like this make it so that you have headspace above you so if, if i was taking a photo 
I would want to have, you know, maybe my myself in the bottom two thirds and then the top third just to be open space. For some reason, this makes photos look more professional. And I think you'll notice this on Instagram. If you do like a quick scroll through of people's photos, you'll see that it's like a thing now to have more space above your head. So if you want to have a more professional looking photo, it includes some headspace. And we're not talking about the app, just space above your head. And the last thing I want to say is just like a sort of side note. Um, I don't want anyone to be starving themselves to look good in a photo ever. Um, I used to do that, I'll admit it, on vacation. I would be like, I want to take a bikini photo today, so I'm not going to eat breakfast or whatever it might be. And that's just such a sad way to vacation and live your life. I, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I would rather, if you are self-conscious about your midsection, I would rather you edit it in post than ruin your day because you don't want to eat or just not edit it at all, ideally. But I know that that's gonna, you know, some people really care about that, about how they look um, on camera. And if they look bloated, they're not gonna like it. So I'm just gonna say, put my two cents out there in the world, and this might be unpopular, and say, eat, eat all you want. And if you feel self-conscious about that photo, you can edit it in post, and I'm not gonna care. But I know that it, as a rule, we don't want to retouch our photos, especially to an unrealistic standard, but I also don't want anyone starving themselves. So if it's going to make you feel better, edit it later. Don't worry about what you're eating all day because I don't want any of my girls, any of my boys, I don't want anyone starving themselves for a stupid bikini photo. It's not worth it, okay? And that's it. That's really all my tips. I hope that it helped you and I hope that you get some fire photos after watching this video. If you do, please tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at catlady underscore fashion. Tag me in your photos and I can't wait to see them. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm slowly growing my channel and it's so exciting. Thank you all who have subscribed so far and I'll see you in the next one.